So I have here 200 grams of semolina unroasted and also 7 egg yolks, 7 egg whites and I have 250 grams of butter and I have 385 grams of sugar. So first I'm going to whisk the egg whites to soft peak. It's very important not to overbeat it. Secondly, I'm going to beat the butter and sugar until it's pale and creamy. Now I'm adding the egg yolks one at a time, beating it after each addition or until everything is completely combined. Now I am adding some almond essence and some rose essence as well as some vanilla essence and I am adding here 2 tablespoons of honey then I am going to beat the mixture until everything is combined then I am going to be taking the uh, the dry fruits that I soaked for almost three weeks and I'm going to be slowly adding into the uh, mixture that we prepared earlier um, I do not have a bigger ball so I'm going to mix a little into the the mixture that I have right now and I'm going to mix everything together after that so that the mixture is well combined before we actually start adding the semolina and the egg whites Look how finely these fruits have been cut into. Um, it's definitely not a paste. It's uh, cut into a very small pieces. Um, so I'm going to mix everything together now. And I'm going to mix and combine everything properly now. As you can see, I'm adding the semolina that I have. These are unroasted. I prefer to use the unroasted semolina because uh, the roasted ones they give a dry texture to the cake but when you use the unroasted one it, it, it keeps the cake very moist and very soft so I prefer using the uh, unroasted semolina uh, some bakers they like to roast the semolina and then they add the butter and then they add it into the cake mixture but I like to do it this way so the cake stays moist now I'm adding the egg whites into the mixture. Uh, be careful not to stir it too much. Um, just gently fold the egg whites into the cake mixture. And um, also at this point after you mix the egg whites, um, you can taste the mixture and add more spices and essences that if you desire and if you think um, that flavor is not sufficient. So you can add all these spices and essences um, as you like. Lastly, I'm going to give the cake a good final stir and then I'm going to be pouring it to a pan that I already prepared earlier. Um, I have greased the pan with butter and I have uh, used four layers of baking paper um, so the cake does not burn or does not brown too much. Also, it's um, always good adding layers of baking paper with a decent amount of butter 
as the cake tends to um, be a quite sticky sometimes. So the cake is ready to be baked now and I am going to be baking it in a pan first oven preheated to 160 degrees for two hours or until a toothpick inserted into the middle comes very clean. So it's been uh, two hours now and um, I think the cake is ready. I've already inserted a toothpick and checked the middle. It's It comes clean and as you can see it's very beautiful and very nicely browned and I love the smell of it the whole house is smelling like Christmas so I let the cake cool in the pan for about 30 minutes and then I removed it and I again let the cake cool down on the tray for about another half an hour so I'm just making a cut just to show you how moist and soft the cake is look at this beauty so this cake can be kept for almost a year in an airtight container and you can keep on drizzling brandy to keep it moist so i'm going to now wrap this cake in a baking paper and also some foil and some cling film so and i'm gonna store it for at least one week before i start serving it for christmas so thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for all the support and love um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already i wish you and your beautiful family a very happy and a very merry christmas happy holidays happy holidays guys happy holidays